Hey everyone, welcome to a seated workout to help you improve endurance after a stroke. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and start with a gentle warm up. We're gonna start with some neck stretches. So you're gonna be bending your ear down to your shoulder. If you can, you can even give just a little bit of a pull onto your neck to feel a stretch on the other side. But if you can't, that's okay too. Now this video is gonna be best for stroke survivors who get fatigued very easily, um, may have difficulty even standing um, or sitting upright for any extended period of time. Let's go ahead and move into some gentle shoulder rolls. Y'all know this one's my favorite. I'm gonna be taking you through two sets of five low impact gentle aerobic exercises. And I'll be showing you some modifications throughout to make sure that we meet you where you're at. All right, big deep breath in. First exercise, here we are. So we're gonna go ahead and start with a gentle chest opener. Shoulders come back and we open up the chest. If you can, you can even push that chin up to the ceiling and look up. Now it's okay if one of your shoulders is not moving as well. We know that that's normal. If you experience one-sided weakness, just do your best here. Don't have a big modification for this one. Um, but the one thing I want you to keep in mind as we go throughout these exercises is we're gonna be moving a little quickly. We're focused on endurance and aerobic capacity. So this is meant to get your heart rate up just a little bit. Second exercise, we are gonna move into seated weight bearing shifts. Now you can do this a couple different ways. If you're able and you wanna go down onto one side, you can, and then come over to the other side. Now, if that's too hard, you can build up something on the side. Don't go all the way down to a low surface. You have a cardboard box or something else that you can lean over. Squeezing your tummy muscles as you go. Good. But we are moving quickly through this. Remember, this is for endurance, not just strengthening. Good. All right, let's move into exercise number three, which is gonna be bear hug twists. So you're gonna try to wrap your arms around you. Now, if you can't get them all the way around, just try to hold on to your arms and you're gonna twist to one side and then to the other. Squeezing your stomach muscles, squeezing those abs, front, side as you go. Being very careful not to twist your back. You're focusing on core here. And although we are moving a little bit more quickly, you wanna definitely make sure you're not moving so quick that you are twisting your back super fast. Controlled movements are very important. All right, fourth exercise. I know these are moving quickly. Seated um, side steps. So we're gonna go out to the side and back, side and back. To get more of a challenge from this exercise, you're gonna pick your knee up as high as you can and also trying to hold your foot up so that your toes aren't pointed down. Now you may not be at that point yet, that's okay. Here's a modification. Even if you can just come out to the side just a little bit, we're going for some speed here, right? We're working on endurance but you don't have to bring your knees up super high and make sure you're holding on to something for stability. All right, fifth last exercise before we start our second set and that's seated marches. Similar idea here. We're not moving from side to side, staying in the same place. Modifications are the same for this one. The higher up that you can bring your knees, the more of an aerobic challenge you're going to get and trying to pick up your toes at the same time is gonna focus on that dorsiflexion, which can a lot of the time, you know, give people problems after a stroke. If you're not there, just trying to get your foot up off the ground. I'm okay with that. Start where you are. 
But guess what? We are back at exercise number one, which is our chest opener. I know we're moving quickly through these. One thing I want you to keep in mind as you're opening your chest, this is meant to be a little bit of a recovery exercise. I want you to focus on taking breaths. People have a tendency to hold their breath while they exercise. So make sure that you're breathing. Don't forget about that. It's kind of important. Good. Moving quickly, but also controlled. Safety is very important with any exercise that you're doing. All right, and we are gonna go ahead and move into the second exercise, seated weight-bearing shifts. So coming over onto one side, remember, if you can't get all the way down and then switch over to the other side, that can be very complex and complicated. Depending on where you're at, you can build up something, have some boxes or books here, some pillows, whatever works for you. And you're just gonna come over, but you don't have to go all the way down. You can just come up here. Squeezing those tummy muscles as we move from side to side. We are remembering to breathe. Good. Exercise number three, we've got our um, bear hug twists. So arms are coming around ourselves. We're going from one side to the other, focusing on keeping our spine straight, but moving our trunk, squeezing our abs. Nice and controlled. Not rushing. And remembering to breathe. Especially with these exercises that we're focusing on core, it can be easy to forget to take breaths. All right, fourth exercise, we're almost done. We're doing side steps. So depending on where you're at, you may be trying to bring those knees up really high, going from side to side. Taking deep breaths. If this is too hard for you, you're gonna not lift your legs up quite as high. Just moving out to the side. Trying to lift, pick up, and safely move at a good, solid pace. All right. Seated marches, here we go. Last exercise, you are almost there. Stay with me. Knees are coming up if you want more of a challenge. You can also try to bring those toes up if plantar flexion or toes pointing down is a problem for you. While this a video is meant to focus on endurance, we're still getting strengthening and movement with this. They don't live in isolation from each other. And we're breathing. <laughs> breathing is very important. We are almost there. We have five more seconds. Slow it down. Relax. <laughs> very nice job. All right. Let's just go into a nice shoulder roll. You made it through. So proud of you. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Really important to stay hydrated. Giving yourself a nice stretch. Let's take a big deep breath together in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good job. That is it for today. I would love it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this one. As always, I'm leaving a link down in the description if you would like to sign up for the email list, which gets you free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails every week, um, as well as a free copy of my ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. And if you find value in what we do and you are able, please consider donating to Post Stroke. I've got a link down in the description below if you'd like to make a one-time donation via PayPal 
or if you'd like to become a Patreon member, which gets you cool perks like social media shout outs, behind the scenes footage, and Q&A videos every month. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.